Well, for nearly 30 years, the parents of Jacob Wedling held on to hope that one day their son would be found alive. But sadly, the decades-long mystery was solved when the body of their 11-year-old was recovered, the killer confessing he kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and killed Jacob. Jacob, I'm so sorry. It's incredibly painful to know his last days, last hours, last minutes. For us, Jacob was alive until we found until we found him. We need to heal. And horrifying details of Jacob's final moments came through the confession of Danny Heinrich. Jacob's story was covered on the hunt with John Walsh, and we go back to that ill-fated day, October 22, 1989. Uh, Jacob's biking with his brother and a friend on a rural road when a man in a car stopped them. Jacob's parents share what the other boys told them. This guy wearing a mask came out, and they could see his handgun. This guy told him to get off their bikes and lay down in the ditch or else he would shoot. He asked them uh, one by one what their age was. After that, he had Trevor and Aaron uh, one by one run off into the nearby woods. Not to look back or else he would shoot. As Aaron was taking off, he saw the man grab Jacob's arm. When he caught up to Trevor and they felt safe enough to turn around and look back, they were gone. They were just gone. And more details came to light in the Minnesota courtroom as that confession played out. Uh, just heartbreaking details that uh, Jacob cried, asked his killer what he did wrong, begged to go home. Danny Heinrich took a plea deal. The state agreed not to prosecute him for the killing in exchange for a 20-year sentence for possession of child pornography, massive amounts of child pornography. Joining me via Skype, someone who knows the Wetterling's pain, Mark Class, his tw then 12-year-old daughter Polly was kidnapped. That goes back to 1993, and he's also uh, head of the Class Kids Foundation, helping just thousands of families. Uh, Mark, you know, you hear the, the tears of mom, and um, it's hard to even speculate to what they're going through, but is there any sense of justice and closure at a time like this? Well, there's certainly no sense of justice. I mean, <clears throat> this guy is, is getting away with a 20-year sentence. But, you know, they've been looking for answers for the last 20 years. I know my daughter was only missing for about two months, but I was really questioning my sanity at the mm. two-month point. I was dominated by fear and anger. My my sleep was, sleep was, was overwhelmed by nightmares. Um, I didn't know if I would be able to make it through. So, you know, they've done 27 years now. They finally have the answers they sought. And I think that ultimately it's better to know than to be left with false hope. Yeah, uh, excellent point there. Well, well you kind of touched on it. I mean, it's frustrating to many. You know, there's no murder charge of any sort. He had, you know, they had to hold over his head these federal child porn charges. Get, give us your reaction. I'm sure you've looked into cases like this. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's terribly unfortunate, but this is what the Wetterlings wanted, and I'm certainly not going to second-guess the family of the boy that had been missing for the past 27 years. I mean, they agreed to this deal. Um, they wanted to bring their little boy home. They wanted to bury him. Um, and, you know, quite frankly, Jacob, uh, Jacob will remain alive in the hearts and minds of people for generations simply because of the very powerful legacy that he has left behind. And it's his case that sparked the National Sex Offender Registry, right, Mark? Uh, yes, that's exactly right. The Jacob Wetterling Law in 1994 mandated that the states register individuals who had been convicted of sexually molesting young children. And it then, obviously, a couple of years later, um, Megan's Law mandated the community notification of these individuals. And, uh, un well, unfortunately for Jacob, the, the whole package now is considered Megan's Law as opposed to Jacob and Megan's Law. Got it. Hey, Mark, thanks again uh, for being with us, just sharing your insights and really for what you do, for fighting the fight for families out there. And uh, always appreciate your insights, Mark. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.